Hello everyone, Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts and today we're going to make a witch. Um, a lady, a follower, her name is Susan, she um, emailed me a picture of a witch and wanted to know could I make this. So I told her if I could find the supplies that I would be happy to do it. So let's get started. I came outside and it's, it's in the evening time, so maybe we can see it better because I want the witch's head to light up. Okay, so I have a tomato cage. We have a, um, a trick-or-treat bucket and we have a pool noodle and I cut it in half. And we may actually have to cut it again, I'm not sure, but I picked up a, ba a box of um, black trash bags, Dollar General, we got some pipe cleaners, we have a witch's hat. I was going to bring something out here to stuff this with and I just forgot about it. So. This is our little witch's hat. All right. I've got some uh, zip ties, a knife, some scissors, and I picked this little light. It's a little lead light, LED. Um, because if you put it in here, can't really tell it right now, but it does. There it is. It'll light up. Okay. Let's get started. So we're going to put the head right here. And let's see. I'm gonna use two zip ties over here and just zip tie our bucket to our tomato cage. Now, um, if I was gonna do this to, you know, for permanent decoration, I would, of course, cut the tags off, and I probably will anyway, but um, I'll end up using this, both of these, for something different, just because I don't decorate for Halloween. We live off the grid, and um, we don't, we, even when we lived um, where you could see our house from the road, it we didn't get trick-or-treaters, so... No use to decorate and nobody can see it. Okay, so with that, we're going to take our black trash bag. And I don't even, I'm not even decorated for fall, and I do decorate for fall, and I haven't even got that done yet, so. Some days I feel like I could be cloned. And it would just help me out a whole lot. Now, I'm sure there's other ways of doing this. Probably some better ways and maybe some not so better. But this is the way that I figured that I would do it. She sent me the picture. Um, and I didn't go research it. I didn't go, I didn't go on Pinterest or anything like that. I just took her picture. And these are things that I come up with. It was, you know, it could be, um, darn fairly cheap, you know, and you could do a lot of them if you wanted to. Because in the picture, it had several of them 
that um, had their arms out and they were all just holding hands. So this would be a way that, um, you know, you can make several and them wouldn't break the bank. Um. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to find where this, there it is. Oh, we're dropping it. Okay, so now we're needing to make some arms and for this size, maybe you had a taller one. Um I would say use the long ones, but because I'm just using the tomato cage, you can get some pieces of pipe. Um, and make her body. You would need to get some larger trash bags. These are only 30 gallon, I think. Yes, these are 30 gallon. Um, So you could get the contractor's um, bags. They would be a lot more expensive, but you could get those and make her a lot taller. And then your arms would need to be longer. going up and down, but it's going sideways at the bottom. Okay. Let's see. Now, would you like to come be on video? So my husband just stuck his head out the door. He's not all about this video stuff. So... He'll go a running. All right. Let's see here. Probably should have brought some tape out here, but I didn't. But. again said I need to go ahead and get this done but um, because Halloween is fastly approaching um, but I just found our Walmart just got some of their Halloween stuff in so they were still putting it out this week so that's what I was waiting on was the the head or I would have already had this done now what I'm gonna do just like this Probably should have put it, let's see. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's what I was afraid of. It's going to slide down, so let me put it up on this um, crossbar here. And all I'm doing, I stuck... Um, this pipe cleaner through the plastic. I'll bring it up and let you see what I'm doing. See here? I just, and it's black on black on black, so, but I took the pipe cleaner and I went through the plastic here around this crossbar to hold it. So. And then we've got it tied down here. Now, in the picture, it had like several witches and their um, arms. There was several of them and their arms was like this holding hands, you know? So that was the purpose of this. Her having an arm and a... So then we would come over here and we would make our other arm. I guess I need to get on the other side, so I'm not doing it backwards to y'all. Or doing it where that y'all can't see. All right. So I cut the bag in half, and then I cut it in half going up. And then we're just gonna, because it's got some, this is like, like this little box was only like a dollar. So, I mean, it's little cheap bags. They would tear real easy. So, it's got that writing. So, I would just turn it this way. We got to roll it anyway. And then it's going to be hid. So. Let's tie off our hands. So, our noodle doesn't fall out. So, our arm doesn't fall out. Another little tie here. I'm going to go around here in front of y'all. Okay. So. I'm going to go. Um, there's a crossbar going here. And then there's one going up here. So, I'm going to take it. Go under here and come out behind here. So that it's, it's holding on this crossbar, but also on this bar. Just attempting to push it through. I don't think I waited quite till it was quite dark enough, but... At least the sun's not beaming down, and we'll get to see a little bit of it. So this is her other arm. These, the good thing about these trash bags, they're really thin. So putting the light in there, you'll be able to see. So you can see the light there and you can see the light going up so all right so you can see how you can see the light let me move it around it may slide out and There's the front, so let's put the light on the front. Um, okay, you can go watch my video of the indoor um, wireless. It's a remote um, chandelier that we made. And I'll put the link um, in the description of this video. 
but Amazon sells some light bulbs that are LED and they are um, by remote. So you could um, put the little light bulb in there and with the remote, you could turn it on and off. You wouldn't actually have to go outside, just, or go, you know, get up under her dress and try to fish it out, you know? So um, you could put those little bulbs up in there. They look, and it's got a little um, a socket that it fits in. It's got a little hanger, so it actually hangs. Um, and it's got a little sticky step adhesive, so it would stick. So, I told y'all that wasn't gonna stay. <laughs> All right, now, if I was doing this to stay, um, if I was actually going to leave her outside and um, use her, um, I would either put these up under here and tie them. You could zip tie the ends so that they would stay down. Um, and I would attach her hat so that she would stay. Um, let's see here. I would... I'm trying to see how I could attach it. I would probably poke some kind of hole in here and attach it with a zip tie or a pipe cleaner. Now, once you get her all fixed, So you can see the pink through there because the little bucket was pink. So you could have her lit up at night. You could glue her hat on. Um, I would probably cut a little bit of the plastic on just under her hat and glue it or I would me a little hole two little holes and put a little hole in her hat and probably zip tie that would probably be the more secure way to get her to stay um, how we could this has got a sticky thing but I don't want to really use it on her so anyway this is what she looks like Like I said, I would do some little ties so that her little dress wouldn't come up. And what would be cute is to get like a little um, broom and put by her or even put in one of her hands. Get like a little stake or turn the broom upside down. Stick it in the ground. That would be cute. is our witch. Yeah, it ain't gonna shine through like that. <laughs> that ain't happening. But this is her arm, so if you was making three, you know, they'd, they'd reach out and they'd hold each other's hands like this. You would attach them on them. 
I'll make your arm. Maybe it's just determined not to stay, but I'm just I'm not gonna poke a hole in it because I'm not gonna leave it. Um, but you'll see how the light will light up our face. I, <laughs> if I decorated for Halloween, I would have some of these in my yard. They would be cute. Okay, let's. I want to get out of the picture of her. I'm going to pull her dress down so y'all can see. And that's how she would look. <laughs> There's an upside down. But like I said, if you got the um, little bulbs, they would hang from up in the. Um, the metal from up here and then it would light up like that and it wouldn't be no can you hardly see that let's see how it's lighting up pink so that is our witch so miss susan i hope that you like our witch. The witch hat came from Walmart. The trick or treat bucket came from, stuck lantern came from Walmart. Then you just get your tomato cage. And actually, I got these from Walmart back at the first of the summer. So, there she is. And I will take a picture of her at night so y'all can see uh, the picture on the thumbnail. And I hope you like our wit, little witch. So y'all have to let me know. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all watching and tuning in and commenting and all the things. So until next time, y'all get to crafting make something beautiful. Remember, I love you all, and I will see y'all next time. Thank y'all. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.